Question number two, Pastor Sam Lotuinga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What is New Zealand's credit rating, and how does that compare with previous ratings? The Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker, following last week's changes, the long-term foreign currency rate credit ratings are double A from both Standard and Poor's and Fitch, and triple A from Moody's. The local currency ratings are double A plus from Standard and Poor's and Fitch, and triple A from Moody's and uh, all ratings are on a stable outlook. Uh, New Zealand's tri- rating was AAA uh, in the early, up to the early 1980s, uh, then dropped down to AA minus through the late 80s into the early 90s. Uh, we steadily improved over that decade, uh, and it's disappointing to see that the uh, that um, misjudged economic policy through the last decade has led us to the situation of a further ratings change. The Honourable... Uh, order, order, wait a minute. I haven't called any member yet. Uh, I'd better get to the usual practice and go to Pestar Sam Lotuinga for the first supplementary. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. What are the main factors that have put the credit rating under downward pressure? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, the ratings agencies have stressed for some time uh, that their view of New Zealand is determined by New Zealand's large external liabilities most of which is private, private debt. Uh, it has built up gradually over several decades, but in the time from 2000 to 2008, we had record excessive government spending. We had 8% current account deficit of over 8% for four years, which is almost a record for any country. And during that time, New Zealand households were spending around $1.11 for every dollar that they earned and the tax system was encouraging rampant debt fueled property speculation. Since then, the government has taken several measures to change these dynamics in the New Zealand economy with some success, but because of the uh, deteriorating global outlook, ratings agencies have become more sensitive to what are now lower external debt levels. The Honourable David Cunliffe. To the Minister, who was Associate Treasurer when New Zealand's credit rating was last downgraded by Moody's on September the 24th, 1998? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, I'm not sure, but it might have been me. And I'm very pleased, I'm very pleased that that was uh, at, at, during a period when New Zealand made considerable progress in productivity growth and export growth and employment growth, and that was all squandered by the Labor government who came afterwards. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How has New Zealand's financial position changed over the past three years? The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, we have focused on getting through the recession while encouraging more saving and exporting and discouraging excessive property speculation, out-of-control government spending and too much debt. By every measure, the outlook has improved over the last three years. The balance of payments deficit, which was 8% for four years under Labor, almost a developed country record, has now halved. Households are now saving again and will have positive savings rates for the first time in 20 years next year. Government debt will peak at less than the projections when we took office, and our foreign liabilities have fallen by $16 billion over the past two years. In the context of a global recession, a New Zealand recession, a mismanaged economy by the previous government, and the Christchurch earthquake, that's a pretty good result. Final supplementary. What policies will continue to improve New Zealand's financial position? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, two straightforward policies. One is to uh, ensure that the government gets to surplus, that its debt stops rising in the next two or three years, and we begin to pay down that debt. Uh, And secondly, that we develop uh, further our capacity to earn a living by selling goods and services to the rest of the world, rather than than, uh, speculating and buying houses off each other. It's disappointing to hear that the Labor opposition don't understand that and have so far trotted out order, spending promises order, at work. Order, order, order. 
Just a supplementary question the member had? No. Uh, question number three.